couple of minutes, then I'm happy to do that too. Whatever you want me to do. It's okay with you. Let's wait just like um, five minutes and okay. Get fashion. Let's start fashionably late. Okay, that sounds good to me. I used to do that when I was at MSU. All their seminars started at like uh, four, like four ten. I was like, why well, at four ten? Because that's the time everybody actually shows up. <laughs> And plus, you know, then they entice everybody with cookies, but you had to enter the room to get the cookies. And then once you entered the room, you had to, you know, you'd be, you know, the idea was to embarrass people so they wouldn't grab cookies and leave. It worked. They got pretty full attendance. Yeah. I bet. Can you imagine just giving out cookies at the start of class now? Mm -hmm. People show up and just took the things that you made and brought from your home. I know. Just... Well, so much of the way I got people to answer in class was to give them candy. Um, <laughs> that was my and 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 highlighters for people that didn't want to eat candy. That's what I gave away. That's funny. So it's now so they don't want to touch the highlighters. It's so weird to think about. Did you get the things like that? Did you get the uh, the fruity smelling highlighters? No, I got the you know whatever the cheapest highlighters were. The ones that'll get you really high. Ninety eh? percent <laughs> ethanol in those. You know what's funny? Last year around this time, I was there's a sports podcast I listened to, and they were um, just kind of talking about like you know how the pandemic might change things. I mean, who who would have known at this point? Um, but they were saying like, what if like we just never shake hands anymore? And in like ten years, you're like, you know, ten twenty years, you're telling your kids like. Yeah, we used to just walk up to someone and like touch their hands and and just move it up and down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've shaken a hand in almost a year. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe maybe we won't do that. I don't think hugs will be phased out though. I think those are going to make a strong comeback. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to some hugs uh, with my with my parents. So yeah, they're they're getting their they're they're finishing up their last their second vaccines. So cool. Yeah, I think about. That. You know, I've got I've got mine. I think about half of my family members members have gotten theirs, and my grandparents I think all have. So it'll be nice once we all have ours. You know, yeah, together again. I feel like a lot of us will. It'll be a hard. It, I've I've uh, taken to this, where yeah. I hold up my phone like really close to the, you know, in front of my face, <laughs> <laughs> to let people know I'm happy. So I hope that never goes away. You know, I I, I do still feel like I can tell when people are smiling. <laughs> I, I've had. I've had people say, I've had people even call me out before. Like, I can tell you're not smiling by your eyes. I'm like, okay. I smile on the inside. Come on. Yeah. Well, it, it looks like we have a couple students. And like I said, we were recording. So um, definitely we'll get, I'm sure people will tune in before. But um, for the for um, the couple students we have, we have Eric Davis. And, and for people that are going to watch it, online. We have Eric Davis from Career Services, who's going to tell us about um, some of the resources um, that CMU has and kind of more more geared toward the resources that might be useful for our biology majors. And so with that, I'll turn it over to Eric. Thank you very much. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Eric Davis. I'm an assistant director in the Career Development Center. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, a handful of resources that our office has. I've got I've got a few slides here. Um, I'm sharing sure my screen, but I've got the chat box pulled up. So if there are any questions, please feel free to send them in the chat. Um, you're of course welcome to save them for the end if you want to, but you don't have to, all right? If you have questions as I'm going along, please go ahead and type those in the chat. I'll see them and I'll answer them as they come in. Um, like I said, I've got a few slides, but I'm also gonna show you, because I'm gonna talk a lot about some of the resources you can access from our website. Um, at the end of my presentation, I'm gonna pull that up and show that and show you exactly how to like make an appointment and access some of our resources too, all right? Um, so again, my, my name's Eric, assistant director. I've been here for a little over three years. Um, in that time, I've worked with the College of Science and Engineering the whole time. 
Um, I've also worked with the College of Business for a little while until last year I switched over to working with the College of Health Professions. So I've had the pleasure of working with about half of the academic colleges we have here at CMU. Uh, before being at CMU, I worked for about four years um, at my undergraduate alma mater, that's Saginaw Valley State University. I started in admissions, did that for about two years. And then for just under two years, I was an academic advisor. So for about seven years, I've worked in higher education across three different areas and, and two universities. And I say the whole time, uh, my career has always been about helping students reach their goals. So whether I was in admissions, working with high school students, applying to college, um, and then academic advising and now career development, working with college students to reach you know, their goals in different kinds of ways, um, signing up for the right classes, making their four-year plans, choosing their majors, to now helping students um, figure out what they wanna do after graduation. Uh, that's a big part of what we do, as well as some of the smaller things like resume writing and um, interview prep and professional dress that make a really big difference. Um, that's a lot of the stuff that I do and that I'm excited to bring to students. Um, and that's really what our office focuses on. So there's three main things I think that our office does that helps me kind of break down what we do and um, in an organized way. And that's first being career coaching. All right. So I kind of mentioned, alluded this a little bit, um, helping students with, you know, what do I want to major in? Um, well, there's a whole lot of students, um, and this could even describe me as an undergrad, that know what they want to major in <clears throat> for a couple of different reasons that you have an area that you're passionate about. Um, or maybe you just got sick of everyone asking you what, what you're going to major in in college. So you started answering the question, but either way, you found yourself in a major and you're not really sure what you want to do with it. I meet with so many students, juniors and even seniors who might be months from graduation, who chose a major and really, really enjoy it and love what they're learning, but aren't sure how they're going to turn that into a career. All right. All of those things I, I would um, categorize under career coaching. As I said, my official title is assistant director of the Career Development Center, but myself and the other assistant directors that meet with students, we kind of unofficially refer to ourselves as career coaches because that's what we do and that's what we're passionate about. We even have a biweekly Facebook Live event um, that we call Coffee with a Career Coach. One of, one of our assistant directors hosts that every week. Um, we'll have different, sometimes I'm on it, sometimes the other staff members in our office, and um, she's even gotten a lot of different academic departments on there. Um, but that just tells you we, we kind of refer to ourselves as career coaches because that's what we do. All right. We also have five student programs and I've got a slide um, that details more about what those programs do. Uh, but these are essentially ways of bringing some of our services to you um, from your peers. All right. Instead of from a professional, um, it's peer to peer advising for resumes, mock interviews, professional dress, cover letters. Uh, even things like if you need help with LinkedIn or writing a personal statement for graduate school, we have students to help you with all of that. Um, and what's really cool is it's a really good way to get involved. So we have a few dozen students who volunteer with us in order to get involved in those student programs. Um, and not only are you helping other students, but it's a great experience to put on your resume as well. Um, and then we host a lot of events and fairs throughout the year. So this is one of the things I'm definitely going to show you um, later in my presentation on how to access all the event details. but I want to point out that obviously we haven't been able to host in-person events this year, but it took a lot of brainstorming, a lot of hard work, but we've been able to offer all of the regular career fairs and a lot of the networking events that we used to host on campus now on different virtual platforms. All right. Depending on who we're partnering with to run this event, there might be different platforms that we're using, but we've been able to bring all of them to students um, in a virtual format. And I know I can help you, our other career coaches can help you. And there's also resources online on how to attend a virtual event, all right? Since you're sci science students, I should point out that the College of Science Engineering Career Fair is typically within the first two weeks of the school year every year, all right? So that'll be coming up in September. And then we also host two career fairs every year, one fall, one spring, and that's called the Alpha Kappa Psi Career Fair. Um, Alpha Kappa Psi, it's named after a business fraternity that we partner with, but they have employers from all industries. All right. It's not just business. I think that's a common misconception. So I always like to speak to that. Um, the Alpha Kappa Psi Career Fair has a lot of different opportunities. All right. And there are some of the smaller ones like the nonprofit and government career fair. Um, there's a Southeast Michigan career fair that in the past has been mostly geared towards um, global campus students in the Detroit area. But now, obviously, it's virtual, so anyone can attend. Um, and then another cool thing is that 
we don't just post on on our website events that we host. We've always posted events from maybe other universities or sorry, I'm a little sniffly. Okay, I have allergies. So it's not COVID. Uh, we we've always posted events from other universities who might have their career fairs open to the public, which is pretty common. A lot of universities, it's not just CMU students that can attend our career fairs. That's everyone. All right, that goes for a lot of different universities. Um, or if, like businesses or different companies hosting networking events. Um, if they ask us to post their event, a lot of times we post those on our website. But since so many places are offering all their events virtual and that geographic barrier of attending event has, has been removed, we've posted a lot more career and networking events on our website this year than we ever have before. So check that out, all right? So those are some of the main things we do. I'm gonna go into a little more detail here, especially on our student programs. So like I said, we have five. Each one of our student programs is staffed by at least one paid intern. Some of them have two interns. Um, and some of them have uh, a couple dozen student volunteers as well. All right. The first one being employer spotlight. Employer spotlight is it's mostly for employers to get more in-depth recruiting opportunities than they get at a career fair. All right. So in the past, um, you know, I mean, there's hundreds of em employers and maybe even a thousand or more students that attend a career fair. You've ever attended one in person. You know, they're pretty packed and there's a lot going on employers will partner with us to get a whole day just to themselves, all right? So they've done presentations in classrooms and now they're doing virtual presentations. Um, our outreach student ambassadors are a team of students who present about the Career Development Center. Uh, whether it's an overview like this, or they can even go in more detail on topics like resumes and interviewing and professional dress um, and really anything that we offer. Um, our outreach student ambassadors will present about our office to student organizations, all right? So if you're a part of any RSO on campus and you wanna get this presentation to your RSO, you can submit a request online or reach out to me and ask, and we can have one of our outreach ambassadors present to your RSO. Reach advising, mock interviewing, and first impressions. Those are three of the really like one-on-one -on -one peer to peer advising services. So reach advising, they focus on resumes, cover letters, um, and then some of the other like application material type things like LinkedIn and personal statements that I mentioned. Um, mock interviewing is pretty self-explanatory. Um, that's a you one-on-one know, -on -one mock interview, but it is set up just like a real job interview. So you'll, in the past, you would come into our office. Now we do it virtual, but you would sit down, expect to be dressed up and ready for real interview questions. And that takes a little bit of time, usually 15, 20 minutes for the interview, and then they talk with you for the rest of the appointment time, um, giving you tips and tricks on how to improve your interview skills. All right. No matter how many professional interviews you do in your career, you're probably not going to get the most honest feedback that you might get in a mock interview. So it's really helpful to go through an interview and then get immediate feedback on what you can do to improve. Okay. And then first impressions is our professional clothing store on campus. So you can get professional clothing right, uh, right here on campus, all for free. First impressions, there really is no catch to this. All right, I'm kind of a skeptical person. I actually asked to know more about first impressions during my job interview for this job. Um, that was about three and a half years ago and it's still all changed. Um, first impressions is free for every student here at CMU. You don't have to qualify for it. It's not the FAFSA. Um, all CMU students are eligible. And you can actually do this once a semester. So I always say from, you know, if you go to first impressions the first semester of your freshman year and you graduate in four years, that's eight outfits you can get. All right. Um, if you've ever seen the first impressions store, it's on the bottom floor of the UC, kind of around the corner from the down under food court. It is pretty small. So this took a little bit of creativity too, but eventually we landed on um, offering virtual appointments where a first impressions associate um, helps you and I guess more you help them pick out an outfit for you. And then they leave that in a first impressions bag and you pick it up from our front desk. So you pick up the clothes from us, you take it home, try it on. Um, anything that doesn't fit or that you don't like, you can return back to us. And then we put it away in a, in a room um, to isolate for a few days until it goes back in the store, okay? Um, so the important thing is we've been able to offer all of these programs. Outreach is a form that you submit online and then reach, mock, and first impressions, you schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment through our website, and I'll show you how to do that uh, later.
All right. So a couple of the other resources that we have, and again, I'm, I'm going to show you these, but I want to point out some of the most commonly used resources that we have, because really on our website and on Handshake, which I'll show you how to get to that, there are kind of an overwhelming amount of career resources we have on there. Um, different people take in information in different ways. So we want to offer a lot of different info on our website. But some of those most commonly used ones are Handshake is essentially our career portal. Okay. So that's where you can schedule appointments, where you can see event details, um, where you can see jobs that we post. And I'll show you how to get there. Um, we also have a career guide, which is a PDF about, it's about 20 pages or so, uh, which information on all phases of career development from, you know, kind of exploring on through finding a position. Um, there's all types of tips and information in the career guide. Um, some of the most common things people use out of the career guide are resume and cover letter templates, as well as interview tips. All right. Candy Career is a really cool website. So especially for people that are kind of in that career exploration phase, they're like, oh, I'm kind of interested in this, but I want to know more about, you know, what that career is like. Or I'm interested in this, um, or you know, I want to know more about navigating career fair. Candid Career is a company that we've partnered with that has thousands of video interviews on their website with people in different careers talking all about what their career is like. All right, they have a section for career exploration like that. They also have a section called Get Hired where they have interviews with most people who work in, you know, recruiting, HR, um, hiring managers who talk about resume tips. And I've reviewed a lot of their resume stuff. And a lot of it is really consistent with what, with the way we advise. So it's a really awesome um, resource. Anything from like resumes, interviewing, uh, even virtual career fairs. They have a section just called COVID-19 where they have videos that are relevant um, to the type of career advice people need now. So Candid Career, is a really cool website that we link to on our website. <clears throat> and then probably the most common resource I use with students who are exploring careers and exploring majors is what can I do with this major? And then it's a website that tells you exactly what you would think a website called what can I do with this major will tell you. All right. Now, the important thing about what can I do with this major will one important thing. That one and Candid Career are <clears throat> that both of those websites we have to subscribe to in order to get full access. All right, we pay for that. That comes out of our budget, which means it comes out of your student tuition dollars. All right, um, you won't be able to access those websites if you just go to what can I do with this major.com or candidcareer.com. As long as you go through our website, you'll get full access. Though. So you just have to go to our website and then click on the links that we have on there. All right, what can I do with this major is really good for career exploration, obviously, but I also work a lot with students who are um, actually looking for jobs because what can I do with this major can give you a lot of really good um, keywords and things that you maybe you hadn't thought of to actually search for in your job search. And they also link to a lot of industry specific job boards. All right, so this would be a really good one if you're looking for jobs in a sp specific area because industry specific job boards will only post jobs within that industry, which means a lot of times you don't have to um, try to be as specific in the keywords if you're going on Indeed or Google or something like that. All right. <clears throat> so I talked a little bit about Handshake. I want to reiterate because I'm going to take you there next. Um, Handshake is how you set up an appointment with us, access our resources, search for jobs and internships, and see upcoming events. All right. Um, give me just a second because I'm going to switch over to my browser now. And I want to show you first our website and then how to get into Handshake, all right? So from our website, first of all, how to get here, it's just careers.cmish.edu, okay? I can send that in the chat, but it's again, it's careers.cmish.edu. And if you can't, if you forget that, just go to the homepage of CMU and search Career Development Center, or you can probably even search Career Services because that was our name. I think we, we changed the name two and a half years ago or so, it was shortly after I started here, um, but I'm sure that'll show, still show up in search results. So you get here, I mentioned that career guide, all right? The career guide is right here in the bottom right-hand corner. It's a long PDF, so it takes kind of this, just usually a few seconds to load, all right? But again, as I said, some of the most widely used resources are kind of right in the middle. 
and that is the resume examples. All right, so it shows you a couple different formats of resumes. I mostly recommend, especially for undergraduate or graduate students, using the chronological resume. The functional resume um, is, is something that can be helpful for alumni or uh, non traditional students, maybe people who've had a long career and you need um, something to highlight your skills a little bit more. You have just too much information for a typical chronological resume. But this is most of the time what I recommend for students. All right. If you're having trouble writing bullet points, on your resume, which is how you're going to really sell your skills underneath each experience. Uh, check out the list of action words, okay? Because you start your bullet points with an action word. We got a really good list right here, all right? Based on the type of skill. We've also got a uh, cover letter example, a references page example, uh, personal statements, even CV. You know, if you end up going into uh, if you want to be a professor, if you go into academia and you need a CV, we've got an example CV here. Okay. It's short. All right. Because most undergraduate or graduate students probably don't have, you know, the 20, 30 page CV like some of your professors do. Uh, but we can even help you with that. Okay. Um, I, I'm not going to scroll all the way down, but, you know, there's more information here on navigating career fairs and interview tips and professional dress too. All right. If you want to access some of those other resources that I mentioned, like what can I do with this major, which, like I said, is a very popular one, uh, and Candid Career. First of all, Candid Career, we link down right here at the bottom. We have that, I think, scrolling across all of our each page on our website. If you click into students, then again, we post a lot of resources on here. I'm not going to go into detail on every single thing, um, but the what can I do with this major, the quickest way to get there is the question mark logo underneath options. All right, you click on that. It takes you to what can I do with this major? Now, I always like to point this out when I'm talking to biology students. What can I do with this major? It's actually, um, it was started and managed by the University of Tennessee. So they have, as far as I can tell, pretty much every single major we have here, a couple of them are called something a little bit different. So if you search for biology, it's actually called biological sciences. So if you search for biology, it might not show up, but if you go through do all majors, or if you remember that I just said biological sciences, you'll be able to find that on there. Okay, and I think they have a couple different uh, concentrations in biology too that have their own page. All right, so just keep that in mind. I don't want you to think they don't have a biology page. Okay, now, okay, cool. We got someone looking at it now. Oh, okay. Uh, from our, the homepage of our website, this giant maroon button that says handshake. That's how you're gonna get into handshake, all right? I'll mention there's also an app for iOS and Android that you can download, just, just search for Handshake. Um, or you can just go straight to CMish. I'll type this in there. cmish.joinhandshake.com. When you first access Handshake, you don't have to create an account just by virtue of being a CMU student. An account is already created for you. And you can log in using your CMU credentials, all right? Your CMU global ID and password. Uh, the first time you log in, it usually, I think it prompts you to fill in your profile. It'll ask you questions like, you know, what kind of a job are you searching for? Um, you know, what are what are you intending to use Handshake for? Just some things to like fill in your profile. Just get through that and then you'll get here to the homepage. All right. A lot of stuff you can do here. I'm going to show you a few of the most important ones. I think one, and I, and I want to mention this and I'll probably mention it more than once. If you click on Career Center in the top right, that's how you're going to see the appointments. All right, career center and then appointments. You click on there, follow the prompts. Um, if you meet, if you click on a general resume review, that's where you're going to meet with a reach advisor. Um, if you go specifically by your academic college, you'll meet with me. Okay, so depending on what you're looking for, you know, if you just want a, a quick resume review or if you've never made a resume before, you need to know, you know, maybe you just want someone to send you a template and talk a little bit about what might go on your resume and then you follow up later. Um, <clears throat> I would recommend meeting with one of our REACH advisors. If you want to meet meet with me or you meet with a REACH advisor and then you want to follow up with me, that's where you'll want to follow the prompts to schedule by your academic college. All right. Uh, so again, career center, appointments. If you remember nothing else, remember that's how you get to talk to one of us. Okay. A couple other things I want to show you. I mentioned all those events that we have 
they're right here if you click on events okay um we're kind of it seems weird to say this we're getting towards the end of the school year so you're not going to see as many events posted right now as you would if you check again like september october of next year but there's still quite a lot to see here okay i don't think we have any other career fairs this semester besides the teacher education fair um and that this year we've actually partnered with all 15 public universities in michigan are holding a joint teacher career fair i guess it's going to be huge um so i'm not sure if we have information posted on that or not um oh we do okay so if you click on career fair we've got a couple of things and it looks like we do have the virtual southeast career fair coming up as i mentioned um but you'll see more events posted at the beginning of the school year than you do now where we're like a month and a half or so maybe just under two months away from the end um and then the last thing is <clears throat> jobs a couple of important notes about handshake a lot of people that i talk to don't even know that handshake has a job board all right this is our main job board now when i work with students i you know a lot of times i'll recommend yeah use linkedin um you can use indeed or google or some of the other ones use those industry specific job boards um but always go to handshake and at the very least set up an email alert so that you're emailed when jobs are posted that meet the criteria you're looking for and you have the option to do that as soon as you do one search okay um a couple of important notes you're not going to see as many jobs posted on here even though it is a general job board across all industries as you see on something like you know indeed or linkedin or whatever and there's a few reasons for that all right one we only post full-time jobs and internships that's it with rare exceptions we might post a part-time job based on meeting certain criteria um i feel like there's an exception to everything but we pretty much only post full-time jobs and internships and we limit the types of internships we post to because we only post paid internships except for government and nonprofit agencies all right so you know a regular for-profit organization isn't allowed to post an unpaid internship we're not a big fan of those okay um so you can filter by full-time we there is obviously a part-time filter here that's because other universities post part-time jobs we don't for the most part all right uh but hopefully us doing that filtering for you and we also manually approve each job and each employer that posts on here so we try to make sure everyone that posts on here is a reputable company all right we've had to deal with um companies in the past that are more you know almost you know predatory scam like companies that try to recruit our students for something that's not really that great of an opportunity um we try our best to keep those organizations away from campus i always say do your own research and make sure you know that you're skeptical enough if something seems too good to be true you do your research on it ask us um but we'll make sure it's only good reputable companies that post jobs on here so hopefully a lot of the filtering that you would have to do on your own if you're looking on indeed or somewhere else like that um we've done for you all right there's a lot of opportunities on here uh, like i said at the very least i i recommend once you once you search you can save your search just like that Okay, I'm gonna edit that. I don't actually want these emails. Uh, but that's how you use Handshake. All right. And don't forget, it's probably the fifth time I'm gonna say it. If you click on Career Center, that's how you'll get to the appointments. And if you forget everything else, remember that's how you meet with us. All right, I think uh that's about it. Remember, we do have those programs that you can meet with as well as meeting with us. Resume advising, first impressions, mock interviewing, and career coaching. That's all through Handshake. Um I'm right at about it where I wanted to be. So does anyone have any questions for me? Thank you. So much. Um, anyone can type a, a question into the chat or or ask if they if they have a question. You can see my email address right there on the screen. If you want to take it down and send me if you have a question that you want to ask, maybe not for the group um you can feel free to send me an email um especially if you forget how to schedule an appointment which i hope you don't but if you do send me an email i'm happy to help so what what typical you know for a biology major that's kind of exploring what they want to do um what are some tips how do you work through that what that's a really good question so um there's a couple things that like as far as resources that I would recommend. Um, one being 
what can I do with this major? Because like I said, there are a lot, there's a lot of really good information on there. Um, there's another thing that I, that I think, and sometimes I mention this in presentations and sometimes it slips my mind. Um, but if, but if anyone out there or anyone that's watching this recording later is on LinkedIn, um, if you're not, I recommend at least creating a profile on LinkedIn. Um, there's some really good tip sheets out there for how to build a LinkedIn profile. I'm happy to share, share that with you if you make an appointment and you want help building your LinkedIn. Um, but if you're on LinkedIn, you can actually search through CMU alumni. Okay, I can show you that really quick since I think we have, you know, a minute here. Uh, if you go to LinkedIn, I think that chat box is in the way, but uh, if you go to LinkedIn and search Central Michigan University and pull up the CMU page, you can click on alumni and search by keyword through every single person on LinkedIn that has CMU in their education section. So this is a really cool way to search through all um, alumni on CMU, CM, alumni of CMU that have made a LinkedIn page and see what they're doing with their degree. Okay. Um, for some people, what can I do with this major and candid career that works? I know for myself, I'm more of a realistic. I want to know what are people actually doing, not what just can I do. Um, so this is really helpful. If you meet with me, I'm probably going to talk through a handful of things like um, I know for for biology, um, it's common for a lot of people to go to graduate school for different for different reasons. That's probably one thing that I'm going to want to know and talk to you about. Um, are you planning on going to graduate school or not? Okay. Um, if so, what for or, or what have you been thinking? You know, um, if not, these are some options. Um, and a lot of times my it's hard to like simulate a conversation because a lot of times when I'm working with students who are undecided or exploring. Um, my job is is um, almost more to draw out kind of what's on your mind and then give you a pathway to get there um, more so than telling you what to do. I think a lot of, you know, a lot of students meet with us with the expectation that like, oh, we're going to, you know, we're going to talk for 15 minutes and then he's going to tell me exactly what to do. Uh, I wish that I had that ability, uh, but I think mo most career coaching goes more like um, we can we can kind of give you the tools to explore and, and get where you want to go. Um, and can ask some questions that might draw out some things you're thinking about, um, and then we go from there. So, yeah, good question. Those are some resources and things. I, I a lot of times um, people love seeing the LinkedIn alumni search thing, um, and a lot of times I forget to bring it up. But as you can see, we've got almost 5,000 people with biology in their profile on LinkedIn. Uh, so that could be a really cool thing to search through and see what people are doing. Keeping in mind that. LinkedIn is used by some industries more than others. Okay, so you're going to see probably a ton more people with marketing in their profile. That doesn't mean that you know we have more marketing alumni. Um, LinkedIn definitely skews towards uh, the business industry, but we have a lot of people from a lot of different fields that are on LinkedIn. So that's great. This is awesome. Good. Glad you <laughs> <did> so. <laughs> Anything else from anyone out there? That's okay if not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think there is any. Okay. Any questions? But um, well, thank you for meeting with us. Um, as a reminder, this is our. This was our first uh, careers uh, webinar, and we're going to have another one um, on March eighteenth, and that's going to be um, for careers in um, ecology and conservation. And then we'll have a, another career fair for biosciences after that. So stay tuned um, if, the, if any of those um, if those workshops are of interest to you. And thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Hey, Eric. I just got out of a meeting, so <laughs> good to see you again. This is great. Oh, hey, oh, hey there.